So this seems like a good spot as any to uh, start the video. Video started. <laughs> anyway, we're at the Yaquina, Yaquina, Yaquina. Yaquina. I don't know. Uh, all that uh, ruckus behind us is the cobble beach. That's the sound of the uh, waves coming up and the rocks hitting against one another. It's very loud. It's a really cool sound though. Anyway, it stopped raining. So Yay. it was raining. It rained really hard one day. It was super windy. And then it was sunny for a day, but uh, Richard and Verona came over, so we hung out with them. And then it rained for two days, even though it said it wasn't raining. You look at the at the weather and it would be like, no, it's not raining, but it was. It rained all day. Poured all day, like for yeah. 24 like, hours straight. No, it was much. more like like 38 or 38, yeah. 36 hours straight. It was a day and a half, it just kept raining. I did the happy dance when the sun came out this morning. Yeah, so uh, so we took advantage. We're out here today, checking this place out. We saw the lighthouse. We saw the, uh, there's a little uh, quarry. It used to be a quarry. Now it's it's a bay. It formed a unnatural bay. So uh, is that is that fuzzy because there's sea salt water? I think yeah, it is. I think it is. We have that Sybil Shepherd glow about us because there of the uh, salt water on the lens. And for whatever reason, there's like a million little black flies here that are like everywhere right now. I don't know if it's the rain or what, but so. so. Anyway, and we saw the lighthouse, and now we're going down to uh, the beach. Yeah. So. There you go. Oh God, dang it. There you go. Exactly. Ah. European motorhome. I don't know how they got it over here, but that's that's not made in America. That's made in Europe. It's covered with stickers from like France and all kinds of places. Weird. Cool, actually. It's cool. It's tiny though. She says it's cool. It's pretty tiny though. I know it's really small. I just read from uh, Wheeling it. You know, they used to live here and full time. Now they live in Europe. And they were looking at these, and that's how I recognized it. Huh. That's what a European motorhome looks like. They're not very big. They don't have any slide outs. They don't get any doors. Yeah. You might have to walk sideways to get in the door. Yeah, weird. Uh, she just called me fat, so. No, no I meant like shoulder wise. Oh, shoulder wise, yeah. Oh, no, you're just big boat. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay. Whatever. Huh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, it's got stickers from France, and uh, it's got a world map in the window. Very cool. Cool. Yeah, kind of awesome. Right, like, why are they doing this? Yeah. Oh, hmm. curious. Two hours later. So we're at uh, Depot Bay, and uh, came down to get lunch. Supposed to be a good restaurant, but this is also where you can see whales. We've already seen one. We were here the, two or three days ago. And we're here like five minutes and saw a whale. So uh, Jen ran off. She gets all squee when she sees whales. So, oh, it's, it's just raining on us. Oh, look, the rainbow. Oh, there's a rainbow. Yeah, there's, there's a uh, spout over here. I got that on video too. It's crazy. It, it's much bigger today because we're here at high tide. Oh my God. It's still raining on us. I gotta clean the camera off now. So there's a spout. Boom, keep doing that. Oh, and you see the rainbow. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's not as big as the last one that's great.
Waiting, waiting, waiting. Oh, this one might go. If you've never been to Depot Bay, uh, you know, you got the ocean out behind you. Right down there past all the people is uh, the spout, which is, as you can see, that's Highway 101. This is downtown. This is right in downtown. That is just so wild. You can watch whales, the spouts here, the, the, the waves hitting the rocks is just amazing. By the way, there's no way I'm prying Jen off of this wall. She's down there looking for whales. And she jumps up and down and squeals like a little girl every time she sees one. I tried to get it on camera, but I haven't been able to catch her yet. They're, they're out, they're camera shy. I think I got them on, on camera twice, but the whales. But uh, I guess I'll have to see when I get back. So we ate lunch at the Sea Hag. Really good, excellent clam chowder. I could go on, but I won't. Uh, the crab cocktail was really, really good too. Yep, fresh crab. Mm -hmm. Just caught this morning maybe. Who knows? Anyway, uh, we're headed down to the uh, world's smallest harbor. This is it, Depot Bay. This is also the uh, capital uh, world capital of whale watching, something like that. And it's true. We've been here twice and we've seen whales twice. Yeah, we, we, they have whales right out there. Like I said when I was up there, it's crazy. This is, this is town. I mean, literally, there's houses like right here. And then right across the highway is Depot Bay and cool waves and a spouting horn and whales. And of course, the smallest harbor in the world. Weird. We're actually going uh, out there at some point. Uh, you know, we told everyone Jen wanted to go whale watching. Well, uh, Devin at uh, Guarantee RV, the tech who worked on our coach, told us uh, they come here all the time. They love De or Depot Bay. Well, Depot Bay, but Newport. And so uh, he told us, uh, or we told him, that, you know, she wanted to go whale watching and he said, oh, there's this place, Dockside Charters down at Depot Bay. Oh, okay, whatever. You know, I'm like, whatever. He goes, yeah, it's like 20 bucks. 20 bucks? Sure enough, it's like 20 bucks. So, we're just down here checking it out. We're not going today. See, there it is behind me. And, and, and this is the bay. That's it. That's the whole thing. That's the entire uh, Depot Bay. And considering how nasty it is out there, it's so common it's, it's here. It's incredibly common here. It really is. Strange. The whales are, the whales, the, the waves are huge out there today. We're gonna go, they look like they're closed. Said they're open, but it's, they're closed, I think. I don't know, we're gonna go look. Anyway, that's it. We're gonna go up and look for more whales as soon as we're done here. We just wanna check this out while we're down here. Anyway, I cannot, I cannot stress enough how surreal it is. There's town, there's Highway 101, and then that is going on behind us. And there's whales. It's just nuts. It's just nuts. Could you imagine living like a block back from the, from the highway? You're just like, oh, let's go and look some more whales today. Let's look at the angry sea, whatever. Crazy. It is crazy. I'm sorry I'm distracted because I'm looking for whales, so. Yeah, so we're gonna head back. Actually, I wanna go to the bridge. 
I want to go see what that looks like. See if we can get a better look at the the, the, the entrance to the uh, uh, bay. There's the bay behind me on the other side of the bridge. There's the 101 bridge. And then we'll walk down here and we'll show you the uh, entrance. Oh my god. The wave just hit the seawall and just like exploded. Oh my gosh. So this, you'll be looking into the sun. Sorry about that. I can't control the, the sun. That's it. That's how you get in and out. They take boats through there. Can you believe that? I don't think too many boats are going out there today. Oh my gosh. That might be why they're closed today. Yeah, uh, might maybe. That's because that's scary. Let's see. Oh, there we go. You probably see. Uh, well, the sun's even worse right there. But look at that. It's just crazy. Then you see it comes in here. And by the time you're back here, it's nice and calm. But right there. Oh, jeez. So then the question becomes, is Jen's need to see whales going to overcome her fear of that? I'd go through that. I'd go through that in a jet ski. That looks like fun. What's the question? If uh, your uh, fear of that will overcome your need to see whales. No. Nope. She says no. All right. It's probably not this bad every day. The sea is particularly angry today, so. I trust them. Thank I mean, we were here like three days ago and the wind was blowing like 50 miles an hour and it was raining and the sea didn't look this bad. Yeah, it's crazy today. I yeah, mean, it is nuts today. Oh my gosh. I mean, there it hits, there's like a rock shelf right there and the waves hit it and they, they were like 50 feet in the air. And then I try and take video of it and it won't happen again. We are going to go because it's uh, late and we're hungry. And uh, Jen's going to say her thing. Yeah, so as always, thank you guys so much for following us and following our crazy adventures. Two days later. Hey, we're in uh, Depot Bay again. We like Depot Bay. We do. Uh, anyway, that... Uh, where is it? That one? Yeah, there you go. See the boat there? That We're going out on that one. That's Tackle Buster. We're going out to watch whales today. So excited. Yeah, she's so excited. So, uh, uh, we did uh, ask inside if there's anything special and they said, no, not really. The, the only thing she said is don't stand in the bow when you go through the, uh, uh, the channel mm -hmm. out to the, uh, the bay itself. Or you'll get wet. You'll get wet. Uh, and uh, that... Yeah, after seeing, I told her, you know, I, yeah, we saw it the other day, and she's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of splashy through there. So, uh, anyway, we're, uh, we're a little early, so we're just hanging out, waiting, about 12.15, we're supposed to be up there, and they take us on, so, yeah, we'll take you along with us. So excited. We have a, uh, little harvest seal right there. It's just hanging out over there. Jen's, Jen's enjoying it. Oh, there it goes. Keeps diving under. That's what they do. We're out of the bay now. It's uh, pretty rolly today, but it's not windy or anything. Whoa! 
Sometimes the water comes up and it's like head level. But a uh, sport fishing boat uh, that sails out of the same company said there were some whales over here, so we're gonna go check it out. We haven't seen any spouts yet, so we're looking. Tail like that, that's a deep dive. It'll be down now for a few minutes, but didn't spout too many good. times, so probably will not be a very long dive. Right there? there oh, wow. Oh, wow. That was pretty good. There you go. This whale's definitely on the move. He's looking around for food. It can stop at any time. I just went over a little spot. I can see some mice that don't let the sheet down there. That whale doesn't know that. Right there. Did you get it when it was so close? Yeah. Right on. So uh, we're following along the shore here. It uh, keeps coming up. It's been coming up for a while. Just uh, blowing and uh, going back down. I gotta turn this around and see if I can catch the tail. Right there. Uh, John, the move there. Oh yeah, he's right there. Yeah, there's one right in front of us now. So uh, it should be pretty close. I'm gonna turn this around so I can get a picture of it. Oh, good tail shots from both of them. Oh, damn, I missed it. Just come back. So I've been uh, following this one for a while. We got really, really close, and then uh, then he just went for a dive. There's another one back there somewhere. We, uh, but this one's been going off like maybe 50 yards from us. And Jen is glued to the rail. 
Yes, I am. I have a good camera, so. <laughs> Later. Alright, that's it. We're back. We saw the boat. We're in the harbor, though. Mm -hmm. Saw two whales. Mm -hmm. uh, one was really close. On behalf of myself, I want to thank you guys for going out here with us today. We'll be enjoying seeing the whales when we yes. have to the dock. We, uh, we did it. We did it. Jen's yeah. happy. She was glued to the rail the whole time. I was. It was fantastic. Yeah, it's really uh, difficult to. Uh, film the whales because I have to be zoomed in so far and then you know my field of view is limited so they're, they're probably off to one side or the other or I panned over real quick to, to grab them so anyway it was you'll get the idea the experience and yeah you'll get to see some yeah. plus it was fun to be out there it was yeah. the seas were weren't like super rough but still lots of rolling and sometimes waves were you know, we'd go down into a trough and they'd be up above our heads and then sometimes all of a sudden you'd be rise up and all of a sudden you have a heck of a view, so. Yeah, it really was cool. fantastic. Okay, now that we're off the boat, how was it? There's not enough uh, positive adjectives. It was absolutely amazing and fantastic. I'm so glad I had this on my bucket list and I'm so glad I could check it off. It was so, it was awesome. I can't say anymore. That's our video. Uh, it's not everything. We're, we're still here for another week. So uh, we'll do some more stuff next week. We still have to. The only thing we have planned is the aquarium. Mm -hmm. um, so we're probably going to. But we might. I don't know. We might just do it. Tomorrow's Friday. We might just do the aquarium. I think and then should. all next week we won't have anything planned. And we can just. Honestly, I'd just be happy coming to Depot Bay. And just <laughs> hanging out and downtown and have some clam chowder. And, and watch whatever, the whales from the shore. Watch some whales and just yeah. Yeah, it's it's a it's a cool place down here. It really, really is a fantastic little place. If you're ever in the area, you have to come check it out. Really, it is stupendous. Stupendous. <laughs> so we are going to go because it's uh, late and we're hungry. And uh, Jen's gonna say her thing. Yeah. So as always, thank you guys so much for following us and following our crazy adventures. Especially this one was awesome. Uh, and. Uh, we really appreciate each and every one of you, and uh, we will see you all down the road. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.